This episode is brought to you by Jay. He is going to be giving me a trout magnet jerk bait. Dude, you have a sexy shad on. Nice. Rainbow trout. Trout don't like trout, they'll eat each other. Check this out trout magnet. You know what weight is this? One eighth maybe? I don't know the weight, but I'll look it up online. You guys can see it on uh, overlay text. But jerk bait fishing for trout. Now, this is my first time using trout magnet magnet jerk bait so uh let's see if we catch any fish today so it appears that this is a a floating jerk bait I'm let it float down right now yeah it's a floating one dies a little bit cool Got him. Got him. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a decent one. It's not bad. All right, wet my hands. Look at this guy. Trout magnet. Hey, easy. There we go, guys. Trout magnet, jerk bait. In you go, buddy. Got him. Oh, yeah. And these rapids. So this 2.5 trout crank says it runs 2 to 4 feet deep, a shallow runner, but I don't feel like it actually runs that deep. Even with cold polymer line on, which I have casking floral coat 4 pound test line, it didn't really dive that deep. And like most jerk baits, twitching it on slack line can give you some tangles with the front treble hook. Alright, second half of this video guys, what we'll be doing is fishing these shallow rapids, shallow streams. You can see that, you can see the bottom. You know, earlier we were fishing places where there's like deep spots wading up to, you know, a hip. For me, it's belly button. But uh, yeah, for these areas, I do like floating jerk baits because it keeps it up and, you know, you don't want to get snagged at the bottom. So this trout magnet is jerk bait is going to be perfect. There's a trout right here in front of me. Got him. Got him, baby. Yeah. Bro. Oh, it's a brown trout. Brown. This place looks nice. <laughs> Rocks are slippery. See a rock right there. Maybe there's some fish hiding right behind this rock. Oh, yep. There's one right here. Oh yeah. All right. I got pricked. <laughs> oh man. All right. Oh. Slip it out. Oh, I got one. It was all the way at the edge. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a little rainbow. 
Let's see if we can shake it off. But man, look at those colors. Beautiful. Hey, hey. Look at that. Stocky. You can see that it doesn't have the fin right there. All right. Oh, he's huge. Oh, dude, he's huge. Huge. Huge, huge. Got him, got him. Got him. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, look at that, those colors. Wow. Ooh. Jay. Jay. Look at this, guys. The color is great. All right, let's see if I can unhook this without getting hooked. You know, let me just grab my pliers. Gotta be safe, man. But man, look at this. This guy's crazy. All right, don't pull my rod out. Wet the hands a second time. But man, this guy is a beast. Oh, cool. Come on. This guy might be a, a little wild, because look, his fins are all there. All right, off you go, man. Off you go. Get big, man, get big. Yeah, there's another one in here. Oh, got a small one. There was a bigger one earlier, like a lot bigger. But um, yeah, let me unhook this guy here. <clears throat> Came off quick. Got him. Oh, brown. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Whoa. It's brown trout. Brown trout, baby. See if I can get a good look at them in the shallow. Put my rod here with the hands. Oh yeah, look at that. Hold on, bro. You guys take a look at it one more time. Oh, look at that beautiful fish. So at the end of the day, I do like this jerkbait as my friend Jay and I were able to catch a lot of trout successfully. My biggest problem for fishing trout with jerkbait is that they death roll and they like to tangle up on the nets. They also tear out their mouth if you don't hand them well enough, which is bad if you practice in catch and release or fishing in streams that are only for catch and release. If you guys have used this lure before, the 2.5 trout crank, what are your experience with it? or if you have a favorite jerkbait to catch trout that you would like to recommend me to use for the next time I go out trout fishing, leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching guys, tight lines.